In the system global settings, there is a tab labeled financial and billing. Again, this area should be checked and reviewed prior to usage. Under the FT menu, system company and security setup, system global settings, and then by selecting the financial and billing tab. On the left side, you may set default settings for customers as far as the invoice settings and what you would like the defaults to be in their account. Below that is invoice late payment fee section. If you wish to automatically begin charging late fees to your customers if they are late on paying invoices, you may set the date upon which calculations will be added to invoices. Determine whether it is a percentage, a fixed amount, or charge no late fees at all. Down below that, you may also manually run a statement or set up the times and dates which you would like them to be run. Upper right, there are invoice options and invoice display options. Read through this section carefully and make the appropriate selections. You may also change the name of the invoice by editing in this box. Invoice display options. Check the appropriate options for your organization. Please keep in mind all of these may be changed at a later date if you wish to change your settings. Check the box if you would like to automatically email a deposit receipt to the customer when posted to their account or reservation. Reservations to billing section. This area allows you to set the amount of time which must pass before a reservation may be pulled into the billing section and dispatch has no control of it. Zero is the most frequently used option but you may select any of the other from the drop down list. Auto apply reservation deposits exceeding invoice total. Check this box if you would like to have a deposit remainder posted back to a customer profile if the amount of the deposit is greater than the invoiced reservation. That is the financial and billing tab underneath the system global settings.